And I told her my Instagram was Sunny the Skeptic, and she said, What's a skeptic? Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Hello everyone and thank you for joining me for a video. In this video, I'm going to be touching bases just a little bit on what it is to be skeptic. Yes, skeptic. And the reason why this came up is because I was talking to a young lady yesterday and she gave me her Instagram and I gave her mine, which is Sunny the Skeptic. And she said, what's a skeptic? So, instead of me getting upset and everything, I figured, you know what, let me fix my clothes, y'all. <laughs> I said, you know what, maybe this would be a good video. Maybe this subject is something that a lot of people don't know about, so it would be good for you to do a video on it. So, here I am. <laughs> All right. And yes, I did take notes and do my research. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is just talk about this. I'm going to break this up a little bit. So get your popcorn, get your tea, get ready. All right. We're going to start with the definition of a skeptic. So what is a skeptic? According to Merriam's, Merriam Webster's dictionary, a skeptic is a person who questions or doubts something. Now, I'm going to take that a step further and say it's not just somebody who doubts. Not, not at all. That, that's not all it is. What you have to do is be able to show evidence. You have to be able to show credited evidence that's reliable, that I can go back and find the sources to or talk to the people or just go back and search for myself not just you telling me something that that that's not going to get it so that's the definition all right now the next step is number two because i broke this up i think it's like four or five so we're not going to keep counting but the next one is is it a good thing or a bad thing to be a skeptic so Going back to what I said for number one, how could anything be a bad thing if you have an open mind and you want to know what the answer is? You are going about something to analyze. You're going to do research. You're going to do uh, what you want to call it. I don't know what you want to call it. Just go back. Matter of fact, let's put it like this, okay? I, I could give an example better. How can something be bad when you're going into something open-minded and you want to look for the answer and you're doing everything possible to get the correct answer? Co correct is the key word, correct. Either you're doing your research or you're doing certain experiments or you're going back and going to, you know, people's notes or talking to the person themselves how could something like that be bad so i don't think it's a bad thing all right so the next step is what what is the difference between a skeptic and a cynic now don't get mad at me don't don't do it because I had to look this up for cynic. Because I'm not a cynic. So I had to look it up. Alright. So. According to the dictionary. A skeptic doesn't believe anything. Without strong reason. From various reliable sources. Or proven tested methods. A cynic. Or cynicism. Cynicism. Did I say that right? Correct me if I said it wrong is believing the worst of something or someone and doesn't have anything to do with evidence so basically as you if you're like you know what i'm not listening to you you can't tell me nothing because i know that's that's not gonna 
That that's not gonna get it. What what do you mean? You just know. What what proof do you have? What what can you tell me? Who who else saw this? What where can I get the sources from? What you have you heard the term fake news? Okay, so the same steps that you would go through to get the real news to see where it came from is the same steps you do in every aspect of your life. If you want to get a new car, if you want to get a house, if you want to, I don't know, trade on stocks and markets trade, if you want to flip houses, you're going to get all the information you can from different resources. You're not just going to get one source from one book. You're going to get different books. You're going to go to the library. You're going to do your research. You're going to go to um, accredited websites. Not just people's blogs, but you might want to do that too because you want their opinion. But you're going to do different things to get the answers that you need in order for you to take the right steps to figuring out what's true or not, or what's right or not, or how to do something. This is the same thing when it comes to being a skeptic. You're going to be a skeptic because you want to find out what's really going on. I can't just take your word for it. All right. So with that being said, you're going to go into the next one. The last one, which is, if it's nothing wrong with being a skeptic, how can I have uh, skeptical thinking? I had to look at the word. Because I actually did put it down here. But it was, how can I have a skeptical mindset? Okay. So, for a skeptical mindset, you're basically going to do what I said earlier. You're going to look at things as if, another example time. If you're a lawyer and you're trying to prove someone's innocence, you're going to do everything you need to do. Do your research, read your books. Make sure that this person is being set up or or is the one who actually did it. Same thing you do in all, every aspect of your life. If you want to, I don't know, find out if ghosts are real. You, you're not going to just say, hey, do you think ghosts are real? You do? Okay, ghosts are real. You, you know? You're not going to do that. You're going to do your research. So you have to go everywhere and get valuable information from different places. Now let's see what I had written down here. Um, oh, okay. So you're going to keep in mind your who, what, when, where, why, where the information came from. If you keep those in mind in every aspect of your life, it's going to be a little bit easier. Just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit easier because you're going to have all the information you need before you just jump and shall I say get on the bandwagon yeah get on the bandwagon so to wrap everything up you can ask questions you gotta do your research you're gonna go to accredited accredited places if it's a website you're gonna be able to find whether what you're going to be able to ask where the website was found, who said it, when did they say it, who else was the witness. You're going to do all these things and it's going to get your mind rolling. When you get that ball rolling, like I said, it's not going to roll for just one thing. It's going to roll for every aspect of your life. Whether you're comparing prices for something, whether you're trying to move, whether you, you want to flip houses, like I said earlier, whatever you want to do, once that ball starts rolling around <laughs> and you use your critical thinking skills, you're going to be just fine. Just fine. If you have any thoughts, comments, or questions, And I forgot one more thing that was written on my paper, so I'm going to tell it to you right now, right quick. Another thing that I had written down was to test something for yourself, get the results, and remember the results. Because lots of times, you will have people who say, well, 20,000 people believe it, so it must be true. No. People believe ur urban legends, and that's not true. 
half of them are not true anyway. <laughs> but still, people believe a lot of things and that doesn't make it true. What's going to make it true is you doing it yourself, you testing it for yourself, you getting the evidence for yourself, you remembering the results, and maybe writing it down if you need to write it down. All right. Talk to you later. Leave it down below. Don't forget to subscribe and share if you want to know anything else or maybe I left something out. Leave it down there. And until next time, next video, meet you here. Stay happy.